The E300 electronic overload relay is capable of communicating directly to a PanelView Plus operator interface terminal. To configure communications between the E300 electronic overload relay's Ethernet IP communications module and the PanelView Plus, configure RS Lynx Enterprise. Add a device to the Ethernet tree. and select Generic Device from EDS file. Next, type in the name of the E300's EDS file. And press OK. We will name our device Motor Protector and we'll be communicating to the E300 located at IP address 192 dot one sixty eight dot one dot eleven. Now that the E three hundred has been added to the Ethernet tree, we need to create a device shortcut to it. To do this, press the add button. We'll call our shortcut E three hundred and we'll direct the shortcut to our motor protector device. Finally select the shortcut type for an E300, its shortcut type will be EDS parameter. Next, apply these changes to the device shortcut by pressing apply. And press yes to accept these changes. We have just configured a device shortcut between the E300 and Factory Talk View Studio. To copy the same shortcut to the PanelView Plus terminal itself, Press the Copy from Design to Runtime button and press Yes to copy the shortcut configuration. If we click on the Runtime Target tab, we will see that the shortcuts exist in both the Runtime Target, which is the PanelView Plus terminal, and the Design Target, which is Factory Talk View Studio. When finished configuring RS Lynx Enterprise, press the OK button. Now that communications have been configured between the E300 and the PanelView Plus terminal, we will add some graphics to a display. For this display, we will display the three phases of current, We'll use the numeric display to display the actual current draw of the electric motor. Because the current value from the E300 is scaled by a factor of 100, we will display two decimal places of precision. Next, we need to select which tag to display for this numeric display. This is done through the Connections tab. To make sure you have the latest device shortcuts, right click on the project and press refresh all folders. The tags that we can choose from are located under the E300 shortcut and the offline folder. For L1 current, we will select the L1 current parameter. Because this is a scaled value, we will divide by the scaling factor, which is 100 for current. We'll take the same numeric display and copy it for the other two line currents. Instead of L1 current, we will select L2 current. And 
for L3 current. We will select the L3 current tag. Now that the currents are displayed, we will also display the trip status. We will do this by animating a rectangle. For this rectangle, we will use the animation properties, specifically the color animation. When the trip present bit is set at zero, the rectangle will be solid black. When the trip present bit is set to one, we will make it a blinking red graphic. It'll blink between red and black. Next, we'll assign this animation to our trip present bit, which is located in the device status zero parameter. Because other device status bits exist in this parameter, we will use a bitwise and to only look at the trip present bit, which is located in bit position zero. Anding device status zero with the value of one specifically looks at the trip present bit. Finally, we will add a momentary push button that will act as a trip reset. When the button is pushed, we will change it to a light blue color. We will connect this momentary push button to the reset trip parameter. Next, we will test our display. To do this, first save the display, then press the play button. Our display shows that the E300 is in a tripped state. To reset the trip, press the blue momentary push button. The E300 reset the motor starter, and the motor is running again. Each phase of current is consuming 0.54 amps. In the event of a trip condition, the current goes to zero, and the trip status is blinking red. Diagnostic information can be displayed on a PanelView Plus terminal. This information can be gathered from a PLC, or from the E300 electronic overload relay direct.